this could be us So back to what I was saying This could be us Okay, this is a very unexpected video. I wasn't even planning to record a video in this place. But I need to rant about this. I've been hearing it all over here and there on podcast, the podcast, the podcast, which I will be talking about on Tuesday. You are seeing this video on either Saturday or Sunday. I'm pretty sure about that. I need to rant about this. But first, let's get through the plugs so that I can get through to these rants. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you could. I'm back. I'm trying to post content as much as I can. Uh, trying to get the gameplay content out for you. Also got a haircut. Hopefully you all like it. The top's cut shorter than usual. But also make sure you turn on that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post uh, brand new videos uh, every single time. It helps it helps me. Also, please leave a like on this video. It helps me with the algorithm and it goes out to more people. And please subscribe. Please subscribe. We're on our way to I think a hundred subscribers. I, I haven't checked. I, I it's been a while, man. I've been taking a bit of a break from streaming uh and stuff. I haven't been actually able to stream. But we get to the rip, okay? This man is making me absolutely insane i can't stand it man i cannot stand this man right here give me a sec give me a sec just to put this out here i, I just want you all to know he is a bust caleb williams he's gonna say I don't know how many times I need to tell you over and over and over again. I don't know how many times I need to tell people. Fields is a better player than Caleb Williams. He will be a better player than Caleb Williams. They have not done anything with Fields in the trade market. They can't. You want to know why? Caleb Williams, not Caleb Williams, Justin Fields, is worth nothing on the trade market. He's worth nothing. He's worth nothing to free agency. He's worth nothing to trades. He is worth absolutely nothing in anything. That's the facts that you understand right there. Because people, they can't even seem to get to where, like, um, Justin Fields is not good. People are saying, oh, he's not good. He's not good here and there. That man doesn't even have an old line that's blocking for him. People, the Chicago Bears fans are making the excuse of how he's horrible. Let's start off of how you said you were happy as that he was drafted. Look where he's going, and now you blame him. What will happen with Caleb Williams whenever you draft him and there's two quarterbacks that are absolutely incredible, one that's bad and one that's in that's incredible? Which one are you going to take? You're going to take the one that's overrated or the one that's very underrated that nobody – seems to like at all and seems just to go after him at all the time. I'm going with the one that's underrated because Justin Fields, he is a quarterback that can get shit done. No matter what people say, he is a person that has gotten shit done, gotten plays done out of anything, to be honest. He's gotten plays done. But people... Just don't decide to look at the facts. Look at the facts of how this has gone down. Like, seriously. Fields is better than Williams and Caleb Williams. And I know he hasn't even came into the league yet. We're almost like a month away from the draft. It does not matter. If they draft Caleb Williams, they are going, the Chicago Bears are going to fall down very fast at the QB position. When you should be focusing on own linemen, siding with own linemen. This is the same problem with the Giants, but it's kind of understandable. Daniel Jones is a bad quarter quarterback, but he can be better if he has an own line. The Bears and the Giants, both of these teams, they don't have all lines. And if they don't have an all line, if your team doesn't have an all line, it can't possibly run. 
especially the quarterback. He can't do anything, especially if the the O-line can't do anything or block whenever they're trying, whenever the quarterback's trying to make a play and he has nobody out there. What my point is, is Justin Fields is better than Caleb Williams. Y'all need to understand that. Y'all need to get to that for your heads. Because Caleb Williams, I swear to God, is going to be this right here. He's going to be a bust. He is going to be a bust. And no matter how bad you will say he won't, he will be a bust. It's just the facts. It's just the facts that you got. You got to face it. He will be a bust for I don't know how long, but he will be a bust. And it's no one. It's just. I'm, I'm just saying, man. This man's going to be a bust. There's no. I think you should go just go down lower in the draft. I'm I've literally recorded this rant uh because it it's been honestly bothering me because people say Caleb Williams is such a good quarterback whenever you look at Fields that man doesn't have an O line once that man have his own, has an O line he can be able to do anything he's a balanced QB that nobody understands about a balanced QB that can do like literally anything. A balanced QB, like, do you not understand that? Like, I'm pretty sure I get it. A man that's a balanced QB that can be incredible on offense in the passing and running game, has incredible movability running out of the pocket. I mean, his running ability is kind of more used in his passing but what do you expect a man to do whenever there's nobody blocking for him? I don't know how long it has been, but the Bears haven't had an all good online in I don't know how many years. But it has not been good from what I know of. It has not been good. I swear to you, it has not been good of how this team has been running. I'm telling you. He is not a good player. No matter how m- much you you say it is, no matter how s- much you say he's bad, it does not matter. Justin Fields is better than Caleb Williams, and I know we don't have the draft yet. I don't care. This man's getting into the pro leagues. Once you are in the National Football League, you better expect high expectations, especially especially with all the people that are loving him right now. Come back to this video and tell me I was right. I would love to hear that from any of you. Because then people will understand that Caleb Williams is not a good quarterback. You will understand that and you will get that. Justin Fields is a great quarterback. People need to appreciate him more. And the people that are not appreciating him. What? It just makes no sense. I, I just mean I think I just think it makes no sense. But the Bears. I would I'm gonna just go to this topic that I put out. What should the Bears do with Justin Fields in their first round pick? Keep Fields and use your first round pick to draft a either O-lineman or wide receiver. Please do that. Because then that fixes the O-line problem. Or you add another star wide receiver to wide receiver free. Because you really start El Moody and put and put him on the Falcons. Uh, I don't know. I want to hear your your guys' opinion. I posted a TikTok video about that also. About how Caleb Williams, I think, is not better than Justin Fields. If you guys want to know my TikTok, it's literally down here on this ticker. Please go follow it. It would be absolutely incredible if you did. But I'm done with my rant. Caleb Williams is going to suck, in my opinion. I don't like Caleb Williams. I don't think he's going to do good. And I think Justin Fields is better than him.
But uh, yeah, that's my opinion. You guys have yours. It is what it is. I'm sorry about the comments being turned off, but it's it just is what it is. But I'm going to end this video because it's going to be taking a long while to upload because it's over 10 minutes now. Uh, but I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm back. I'm going to try to get back into posting content and doing more streams uh, for the All Things Sports Podcast. Don't worry. It's coming this Tuesday this week. So don't worry. I got your guys' backs uh, for that one. Uh, sorry I haven't been doing it. Um, just been really tired lately. Uh, a lot of football stuff's going on, a lot of school stuff. Uh, we're, we're getting to the last edge here, and then we'll be good. I'll talk about free agency stuff in my next video. So you might see two videos. Then Monday, you might see a video. Tuesday, I don't. Tuesday, you'll see the live stream, hopefully, uh, with uh, my friend, with a person that I like the most. But. But my, uh, you'll see. I love you all. I'll see you all on. Uh, I'll see you on Tuesday, uh, maybe Sunday if I make a free agency video. But I'm just gonna end this video. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm back. Peace out. If I